In this video we're going to look at editing the Rapid program via Robot Studio. So once you've created a program on the Teach Pendant, it's stored in the controller immediately without you even saving it. From within Robot Studio we can start up Robot Studio. I have a robot here. You don't have to even have a robot here. Just come onto the Controller tab, Add Controller, One Click Connect. I don't need to do that here on the virtual uh, robot but on the real robot I would click one click connect and it would connect me directly to the controller of the real robot. At that point I'll see the current station and if I expand rapid I'll see the main module and the main routine that I just wrote on the teach pendant. Double click there and we see the entire program now on the PC. And you can see why the teach pendant displayed an asterisk for the program position because it would be way too long to display on the small screen on the uh, pendant. So there's our program. We can make any changes that we want now to this program and then we could s upload them to back to the robot. So if I didn't like that V100 I could type V, and you notice we get a pop-up of choices. Maybe I want to go V200. So once I've done that, I apply changes. Do you want to apply changes? Yes. As soon as I've done that, as long as I'm connected to the controller, just go over to the, go over to the virtual teach pendant here. You notice that V200 shows up here because the Flex Pendant and Robot Studio are connected, both connected to the same thing, the controller. So any changes I make here, as soon as I apply them, they get sent to the, to the controller. From here, if we right click on the program name, then we can save program as, we can load a program, we can rename it, we can delete it, we can create new modules, if I come here in the main module, I right click, I can just save the module itself if I want to. I can come and I can type whatever I like in here. So I could copy and paste this entire routine. I could make another procedure, move these all to the other procedure and call that procedure from main. I could create some global variables. Other thing I might want to do here I didn't create these points beforehand when I used the teach pendant, so they all got created in line. I could, if I wanted to, create these now, and I could just copy and paste the the values out into a into a variable. So I can create a maybe we'll do a constant. And the type will be a rob target. And we'll call it, I always like to start my business with the lowercase p. So p, uh, let's call this p uh, approach pickup. A little bit long, but. Uh, meaningful. And then we've got semicolon equals, that's how we do the assignment. And I want it to equal all this stuff here. So I'll control X, cut it, control V, paste it, and a semicolon at the end. And then we need this name down here. So now we've got we're going to move to P approach pickup. This obviously is a lot more readable than having just a bunch of data in there. So we'll apply that. Yes, I want to apply the changes. I don't care about moving the program pointer. And there we go. And if we go over to the virtual pendant, we've lost our program pointer. Let's just go back to the editor window. 
I was saving, so I'll hit cancel there. And we'll just look at, there we go. And you notice that we've got P approach pickup. So all the changes were applied. And we can go and run that now on the robot. And we could do the same thing for all the other points as well. We could give them meaningful names. We could have predefined some points in the teach pendant before we started to write our program. And we could do a similar thing with the teach pendant or flex pendant. I prefer to do most of my editing within Robot Studio because I have a full-fledged text editor. I can cut and paste easily and I find it much easier. So we'll create a quick little dirty, quick and dirty program with the flex pendant, make sure we get our positions, then come back in here, tidy it up, organize it, rename things, etc. within Robot Studio. And like I said, you can then come in here and save the program to the local PC so you can bring it back next time and load the program and continue working on it. Don't forget to apply when you've made your changes. It's grayed out right now because I haven't made any changes to apply. We can also check the program to make sure everything is okay and we've got down here it says no errors. And there's other things we can do, rapid profiler, we can set breakpoints, we can debug. There's a lot of things we can do here. Just look through, click on some of these. There's our single cycle continuous and uh, try them out. You can see there's a whole table of instructions common and there's the same ones that we saw in the common menu on the on the flex pendant. And there's even a formatter so if you didn't indent very well, it will format everything for you. Put in the proper spacing, etc. That's a good thing to do before we save it. Okay, so that concludes our this video on editing your program within Robot Studio.